the 2017 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select O.J. Howard, tight end, Alabama. And the run on Bama players Let's has go! begun. Another Alabama player has now been taken. O.J. Howard out of Alabama, the prominent tight end in this draft class, selected by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the 19th overall selection. Welcome back to WICR's NFL Draft Special, everyone. Jersey, Joe Archino, here with the usual panel, Kevin, Lawrence, and Anthony. Lawrence, why don't you start us off here? I think O.J. Howard, certainly not a player who was very well known throughout his college career. His biggest game came against Clemson in the national championship, a season, and not, not this season, the past uh, previous season, where he was unbelievable. So we don't really have the biggest sample size out of O.J. Howard, but his measurables have been tremendous, and I think what we've seen him been able to do in big games is also tremendous. How do you think he's going to benefit the Buccaneers? <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. The college football fans know this about O.J. Howard, but you know the NFL fans take it one of two ways. You know He didn't get used a ton in college, so some take it as a negative. How could Lane Kiffin not figure out how to use O.J. Howard to get 200 catches a season? Some people say he blocked for 90% of the plays, and that's a positive in the NFL because it'll help him on the next level. Either way, for the Bucs, I mean, this is, this is gold. Mike Evans, O.J. Howard, uh, it's really, you can stop right there, but the list goes on for the Bucks on the offensive side of the ball. I think they're a team that's ascending. I think I've said every team in both South divisions could win their, uh, could win their, comp uh, their division. I, I think it's a, I think Jameis Winston's very happy and the Bucks should be too. Anthony, it's a division we have seen the two of the last Super Bowls feature teams from this very division. The Buccaneers, obviously, one of the youngest teams in that division, building. Now they have another cornerstone player on the offensive side. Does this bring them a step closer to reaching the playoffs? A hundred percent. I think this is the type of pick that could uh, put them in the playoffs. He, he had a number one overall grade amongst tight ends, and uh, he's no number one run blocker, too, for tight ends. He's a matchup nightmare for linebackers and especially safeties. He has really good hands, and he only had, only had six drops in the past three seasons. And uh, he's really good. He's 6'6", 250. He's a beast. Kevin, I know you've got some praise for O.J. Howard. I, I do. I think he's tremendous. He's honestly one of the best tight end prospects the draft has ever seen. Uh, and, and that, I think, right there puts it into perspective. And also, uh, a little bit maybe for some fantasy owners, last year, uh, we're, we're missing the Broncos pick. It's all right. We'll catch up on it. Uh, last year... Um, Cameron Bright, the tight end of the Bucks, led the NFL in touchdowns for tight ends. Ty Hunter Henry at eight. You now throw OJ Howard in it. He's going to be used a lot. They'll throw out the two tight end sets. And this is great uh, for Jameis Winston. Through two years of his career, hasn't had the highest completion percentage, but getting weapons like Cameron Bright and Mike Evans. Now adding in OJ Howard is certainly going to help that. I love this pick. We have the Broncos pick that's in, so we're going to end this right now and bring you to that as soon as we can.